If you're wondering what the heck I've got in my hand, well, I'm going to tell you what it is and how to install it coming up next. I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to ya? We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now at the top of the video, I mentioned this thing here. Now what it is, is this. It's a frost-free hydrant. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install one of these. So let's get started. You're looking at the original faucet, one of two, that went with this house. And I could easily reinstall this faucet or something similar, but I'm not going to. We're gonna be installing this right here, and they're perfect for the harsh winters like we have here in Cleveland. So here's the difference with these anti-siphon wall hydrants. The mechanism which controls the flow of water isn't located here. There's nothing here. You have to travel down the pipe all the way to the end, and this is where the mechanism is, at the very end. And so the mechanism is actually going to be located inside the house where it remains warm. Now check this out. When you install these faucets, they're intended to be installed at a 10% downward pitch. And what this does is it ensures that water drains out of the tubing and it isn't stored here in the pipe, okay? There's no way for this to freeze because there's nothing in there to freeze because it's all drained out because of the 10% pitch. Now you can go a couple different routes with the frost-free faucets. You can go with the traditional copper faucet and sweat it on, or you can go with the newer push-fit faucet made by Sharkbite. And these by far are probably the easiest frost-free faucets to install for the DIYer. Okay, I'm going to show you what the setup is going to be. We're going to do a dry fit. At the end of our faucet, we have threads here, so we're going to have to use what's called a female threaded adapter. That's what this is right here. You can tell it's a female because the threads appear on the inside. Now the last thing we need to dry fit, and this copper is going to have to be cleaned first before we sweat the pipe, and sweating of course is soldering. The last step is to take a half inch copper coupling, that's what this is, and we just attach it to the end of our copper pipe. Now we're ready to take our faucet, solder it, and install it. Now before you even get started soldering, it's really important to thoroughly clean the outside of the copper pipe. You want it to be shiny like a new penny. Now it's equally as important to clean the inside of any copper fitting. Next we want to take some flux and we want to apply that to the outside of the copper pipe. And we're also going to add a little flux to the inside of the fitting. Now, this flux helps the solder do its job. It helps it flow evenly. Now, I prefer to use map gas to solder with instead of propane. Now that I've got my adapter soldered onto the end of my pipe, I need to apply a little thread sealant to the threads of the faucet before I screw the two pieces together. Now I'm wearing gloves because it can be kind of messy when you're using pipe sealant. Now you don't have to use pipe sealant, you can always use plumber's tape instead. Now it's time to join the two pieces together. And to make certain that I get a waterproof seal, I use two pipe wrenches to really cinch the two pipes together. Now that we've got our pipe all sweated up and our piece attached, now we're going to insert it into the house. There's our opening there. I'm just going to slide this in. <laughs> I 
Okay, now what I have to make certain of is I've got to tip this down just a little bit before I secure it here because remember, we need it to drain out. That's one of the benefits of using one of these frost-free spigots. There we go, there's our installed spigot. Now all we have to do is sweat it from the inside and we'll be done. If you need more detailed instruction on how to solder, I'll leave a link in the description below to more CJ Drill soldering videos. And I'll also provide a list of tools and materials used in today's video. Let's test our faucet. There we go. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.